Here with Jorge Posada, a prominent member of that 98 World Series championship team. Jorge, just getting to be around some of those teammates again, what have those emotions been like in the interactions as you guys have started to see each other's faces again? Well, uh, a lot of memories. You know, you go back to 98, and all you can think of is, you know, the everyday grind of trying to win ball games. Uh, it, it looked... It looked uh, very easy to do what we were doing but uh it took a lot of a lot of hard work and uh very happy to be back you know it doesn't seem like it's been 20 years already but we were happy to see each other again what would you say besides talent what was the key characteristic that made that group so great wow uh there's a few things uh guys have no egos uh we had a we had a great manager that really emphasized uh you know taking care of things on a daily basis uh we had a great pitching staff bullpen uh probably the best bullpen in the league and guys didn't you know went out there every day uh tell you the truth that lineup went out there every day and we were very very lucky to you know to to keep going like it, it was uh it was fun to be a part of was there a moment that you can remember during that season where you said, you know what, this isn't just a good team, this isn't just a championship team, we have a chance to be maybe the best team of all time? No, we really didn't think about, uh, about it like that. We, we just wanted to win ball games. Uh, and, you know, when you have a pitching staff the way we had, we had a chance every night. And, you know, we, we really started awful, uh, one and four, and all of a sudden we caught on fire and you know the whole series the whole season was like that we you know we used to needed to win ball games and uh, you know I think it was more about the pitching staff it was more about you know the bullpen that we had and you know the core group of, of players that we had that were on the field every day you know everybody always talks about that famous meeting after you guys got off to that one and four start and then obviously you rolled from there ended up 61 and 20 at the all-star break what do you remember most about that meeting you guys had after the rough start out west? Yeah, I, I think the veterans, the veterans on the team talked. Uh, Joe Torre let us talk. Uh, we needed to, you know, get back to what we said in spring training. Uh, you know, '97 was a team that that ended with you know not winning and not being able to get to the to the world series and we just needed to re be reminded of what we needed to do and what we were, our focus was and uh it was a great meeting uh you know they did david cones and the o'neill's talk girardi talked, uh jeter talked uh most of the of the veterans talked and uh we got on each other you guys, you didn't lose a lot. So what was the clubhouse like for that group after a loss? Uh, mad. <laughs> you know, he was, he was mad. He was, uh, all right, we need to get back on a run, you know, win 10 in a row. It was that type of, of season. Uh, we'll see how many games in a row we can win. Uh, and, you know, it, it looked easy, but it was hard. When you think back on that season, is there a particular moment or, or or game or memory that stands out most that you relive most often? I remember Strawberry's, uh, you know, when we found out about Strawberry at the end of the season, pretty much towards the end of the season, that he was going to be in the hospital with, you know, colon cancer. Uh, talking, Tim Raines talked to us uh, in Texas. We had a, you know, we had a, a workout in uh, we everybody was crying you know we we strawberry was a big part of of, of the group uh, and not having him you know for the rest of the season I think we needed to step up for him